Let me paint you a picture. Australia, once known as one of the safest and freest countries in the world. A land of spirit and ceremony. A land of opportunity where the hopeful came for a new start so their children could be free and prosperous. Where the battler had a chance and poor men made good. A land where you were free to explore your surroundings. A land with room to spread one's wings. A land of brotherhood, celebration and connection. A land where you came to visit and didn't want to leave. A land of privacy rights, medical rights, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom to protest, freedom to worship, thanks to their sacrifice. But something happened. Today is the first full day of the New World Order. We've got to accept that this is the New World Order. The New World Order and the Australia we once knew is no more. Lockdown 6 was announced on August 5. It is no longer the land of the young and free. It is now a land of division, blackmail, coercion, discrimination and medical apartheid. Get off of me! A land where movement, speech, religion and opinion are no longer free. Yeah! Protesting is illegal. Police must enforce corrupt policies to keep their jobs. As I won't be a police officer after the end of this interview. Police shoot protesters in the back while they are running away. This is Australia! Doctors and nurses cannot speak. They will lose their licence. I can't really talk about that. People have lost their jobs because they don't want the injection. Children are missing school and attempting suicide at a high rate. We need to show our papers to go shopping. If you want freedom, get the jab. We can't travel across state borders unless we apply for permission to. Members of parliament are censored and defamed. 100% of those studies, it's a conspiracy theory. Affected. Pregnant women are arrested for a social media post. Search warrant. Search warrant for war. Activists who fight for democracy are imprisoned. The moment you're under arrest for incitement. Our human rights are gone. Our human rights are gone. It's time that we take off the COVID blinkers and look at what's happened to our once great and free country. Australia can no longer fight for itself. We have been silenced, assaulted, blackmailed and psychologically damaged. We tried to fight this battle alone. The government has instilled so much fear that we have lost our vigour to fight. We are a broken nation and although we will never give up, we need your help to continue our fight. We need help from our international friends. We are seeking your support to apply political and economic pressure on our leaders to change the destructive path that we are on. That is why we are organising a worldwide protest with Australia excluded in support of our plight for freedom. This is an official SOS from my beautiful country we plead with you to hear our cries for help.